Hey guys, Sammy here with uh, Mr. Jiggly Disc Golf. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on the Dynamic Discs Trooper Bag. I picked it up about three months ago and I've been using it pretty consistently since then. Um, today I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts, going over its features, things I like, and some things that I wouldn't uh, mind to change. So, starting here at the top, we have your carrying strap followed by two D rings. I use these uh, to hold a towel, a clip towel. You could also use them maybe for bag tags. Um, in the back, very comfortable backrest here, um, dynamic disc logo, I really like that. Your two straps, very comfortable, nice and padded. Um, me being, you know, Mr. Jiggly, I'm 250 pounds and about 6 feet 2 inches, so I'm not a very small guy. So these straps are just a little bit short for me, so I would love to see these be a little bit longer, but I know that's a pretty specific request, um, just because I'm a pretty big guy. So, probably two of my favorite things about this bag are these little side pockets here. Um, pretty big. I know that some people can fit a golden retriever in here. I don't have one of those yet. Something I'd like to get in the future. Um, but they are great for storage. I love that Dynamic Discs didn't waste any space and went ahead and threw those pockets in for us. I think that's an awesome feature. Here you have your water bottle holder. A little cinch strap here. A little clip to kind of hold it top up against the bag. And then last auxiliary pocket, you have this little pocket here. I use it for maybe wallet, keys, spare mini. Um, just things that I'm not really going to need to access during my round, but that are great that I need with me. All right. And then up top, you got your putter pocket. Uh, I usually keep two putters in here, but I have kept up to four discs in here pretty comfortably. I just like keeping two to have a little bit more space for access. Then your main pocket down here, very large, um, especially for a beginner like myself. Um, probably my favorite feature, this little flap, a little uh, Velcro strap here. <clears throat> and it, there's a little piece of Velcro right down here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. If you just tuck this in, press it up against the back wall. It should stay pressed up against that wall and stay out of your way so that you can have easy access to your disc during the round. Also, there's some rigidity going all the way around the bag here. Uh, just kind of helps the bag stand up. It doesn't really fall over unless you're maybe on a steep hill um, out on the course. So here I'm going to go ahead and fill the bag up with discs. Um, I have two putters and 17 discs here. I'll show you just kind of what that looks like full. Um, and then talk about some of the things that I really like and some things that I, again, wouldn't care to see change. So I keep my two putters. Right up top here, and then I'll go ahead and put the rest of these discs in, and you'll kind of see as I start to put these in, the space just continues to get tighter and tighter, and then right at the end here, the last few discs, as you can see, get pretty tight, but they still go in there pretty easily. So like I said, I got 17 down here, two up here. I can probably squeeze another one in here and maybe two more up here. So you could run a total of 22 discs, which again, is plenty for a beginner like myself. A um, few things that I don't care for on the bag. Um, one, the first thing, and again, none of these are very big, but the first thing is the side is pretty tight. So if you're trying to get a disc out from the side, you see it catches here and here. It can be kind of a pain. Um, I mean, from the middle, it's no problem at all. Comes right out and right back in. Um, just any of these side discs are kind of hard to access. Um, also, this little trooper symbol here, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit flimsy. So it kind of caves in and pushes the discs back. It's a little bit harder to access. Again, I know I'm splitting hairs for a $39.99 bag, but it is what it is. And then lastly, probably my biggest complaint about the bag, and again, I know this is small, is this little cinch strap here, the little clip that they have on it, is not very strong. And so if you cinch this down on your water bottle throughout your round, this would just kind of loosen and loosen. And then eventually I was having trouble with my water bottle falling out. Um, so I went ahead and just put a quick little knot in there to adjust it to the size of my water bottle. It's worked out pretty well, but just a little bit of a stronger clip I think would go a long way there. Uh, so anyway, that is my review of the Dynamic Discs Trooper Bag. It runs for $39.99 on dynamicdiscs.com. 
if you're interested, um, go ahead and go down there, pick one up for yourself. It has really helped me out on the course, um, be more efficient, carry the discs that I need, and also my cell phone. I don't have to worry about all the stuff in my pockets. I could just go ahead and put it straight into the bag. So I appreciate you uh, logging on to Mr. Jiggly Disc Golf, and I hope to see you again in the future. If you like this video um, and you want to see more like it, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you stay tuned, I should be posting a video of my In the Bag for 2021. I'm still a beginner, um, so I know a lot of people aren't really interested. However, I haven't seen a lot of videos online talking specifically to beginners about what they throw um, in their bag. So I'll kind of talk about where I am in disc golf, um, what my arm speed is, and what I'm throwing and why. Uh, maybe just to help my fellow beginners that are just starting to get into the sport. So until then, I will see you out on the course. This has been Mr. Jiggly Disco.